Hello, and today I show you this really old Powerlight Devices B2227 175 watt Mercury Vapor Street Light. Now, as you can see, it is very, very old and looks very similar to my Sylvania R37. Now, that is because um, this street light is, of course, made by Powerlight. Sylvania, Powerlight, sorry, is a branch off of Sylvania, and later on, um, a hyper sodium version of the street light was later renamed to Sylvania R37. But anyway, let's take a look at the street light first. Over here we have our labels, of course. Now, I actually got two of these street lights from that same person. Uh, they're both 175 watt mercury vapor, but one is slightly older and has many differences, which I'll um, post another video on that. But this is um, the newer version of, I guess, the Powerlight B2227. So, we'll take a look at the branding stickers first. Of course, there's your um, model number. This one is slightly different than um, what we call it. It's the real model number is BC2227S, but I just call it B2227 since um, that name is like way too long. But anyway, down here we have a dual tap ballast, 120 slash 240. There's your amps and watts is 210 with your ballast losses. Hertz 60 lamp, 175 watt mercury vapor. Made in Canada by GT Sylvania. So. And there's your very nice um, engraved power light logo. Now everything you go about to see is original to the fixture except for the photo cell and the cord. We'll take a look at the top. Of course the top has an area lighting research photo cell. Has this um, interesting little leveler thing here. And it's a bit scratched up because um, the street light recycling depot where I actually um, got the street light from all the street lights were piled up in a bin, so of course it'll be a bit scratched up, but that doesn't matter too, too much. So, anyway, we will set the lamp on the tripod, I mean the camera on the tripod, and we will open up the lamp itself. So, just watch out. There we go. So, inside we have a very nice design street light. We have this um, gasket to keep out all the um, bugs and everything from ruining the optics of the lamp. We, this bulb did come with the light and it has some use on it, but not too, too much. It's a General Electric um, 175 watt deluxe white bulb. I will take this bulb out of the fixture, but it is very loud, so excuse me for the noise. So, there we go. General Electric 175 watt Mercury. Of course, DX Deluxe White which is what you usually see on city streets that are lit with mercury vapor and is made in Hungary so it's a slightly older bulb but it's not too too old but anyway we will install this back in the fixture and we will take a look at the control gear and some other interesting features about the street light so we'll first take a look at the terminal block now obviously I believe this is negative this side or no that's um yeah this one this side's negative and this side over here goes to the photo cell in. The middle terminal is actually for 240 volts in, so whatever you want to use. I'm using 120 at the moment, so these covers can also close, which is kind of interesting. So it just closes like that. The third one fell off, though, since that plastic is pretty brittle. So, of course, we have the ballast. It's kind of loud, and I believe it's made by GT Sylvania. So it's very nicely um, bracketed into the fixture. And we have our PCB capacitor. Now, this light was made in the PCB era. That capacitor is very, very heavy when I took this out for cleaning. And I believe that's filled with PCB. So, there's no label on it that says no PCB. You can kind of get a glimpse. There's also no label on the ballast. It is very, very rusty, but it still works. Now, another interesting thing is this thing over the socket. Now, that's another gasket to keep all the, um, the bugs and everything out. As you can see over there, that's sealed off. When I got the street light, it was absolutely filled with bugs. I believe this was um, somewhere in the country, and I think I know where this was taken down at. I'm not sure if that's the exact location, though, but... This was actually, I think I saw this in a town nearby. There, it was originally lit with these street lights, but fortunately they were replaced by Cree um, LED lanterns. But anyway, we'll take a look at around here. Of course, there's your latching thing, and here's your um, leveler down, and there's a slip fitter. So, of course, there's nothing much up here except for the lens releaser, which I'm not going to take off at the moment. These two pins here, you can press them together to release the door. 
And that's pretty much it for the inside. So we will put the camera back on the tripod again. We will close up this street light. And we will um, try to get as much light in here as possible since um, I know my camera really likes to adjust to uh, bright lighting. So anyway, with no more to say, we will plug this in and we will turn it on. Here we go. So in real life right now, it's actually gro glowing a really nice um, pink color. Now it's shifting to um, blue. But on camera, it likes to show a different color. So anyway, we'll get a good position of the lens there. So you can hear it's not too, too loud, but it's okay. So anyway, we will fast forward to the point when it's fully warmed up. So here's the light at nearly full brightness. I'm not sure if it's really at full brightness yet, but it's close enough. Um, it's putting out a very nice white light. I really do like um, deluxe white mercury lamps. And of course it is very, very bright. We'll turn the street light up like this so we can see how bright this is. Like that, we'll try to keep it up. So, of course, um, actually the camera's really liking the white light actually. I'm seeing, um, we just turn around to this door here that light bulb bin I have it's really actually not showing any green whatsoever I guess this camera um she does like deluxe white mercury lamps that's interesting so as you guys as you saw there it's putting out a lot of light and it is not loud at all which I kind of find interesting for such an old light it's not even loud so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video. My power light device is B2227 175 watt mercury vapor street light. Thanks so much for watching.